Hello, happy birthday. I'm sorry I can't be there, and I'm sorry that this is a bit late. Uh, it took a bit longer to make than I was expecting. But, so, one of the best games on the iPhone is called Letterpress. And it looks like... Looks like this. So you have a grid of letters and you uh, spell words out with them and then the enemy, your opponent, spells words out with them and tries to um, take over more of the board than you do by using those letters. And it's brilliant, but it's um, it's a bit antisocial, you can't talk to your opponent at all. And there's nothing about it that couldn't work as a physical game um, in real life. And I think you'd both like it. So I have made it as a physical game. <laughs> um, and I'll briefly explain how to play. I'll include the rules as well, but it's probably better to have like an actual demonstration. So the first thing you do is you lay out the board, and you need it to be a five by five. Oh, hang on, I should do it this way, shouldn't I? Uh, five by five grid. You just shuffle the cards first so it's randomised, and lay them out. So then you take your turn by spelling a word with any of those letters. And it could be absolutely any of them, they don't even need to be next to each other. Um, so I could spell, if I wanted to be really unambitious, I could spell bus. B U S. They're not next to each other, but that doesn't matter. And then the next person has to spell their word. Uh, let's go for gone. And you just place tiles on all the letters you use. Now, the only extra rule is that um, when a tile is surrounded by ones of the same colour, it's protected next turn. So, I spelt gone up there, that G, the only ones next to it are both red. The E and the O are both red. So, on the green player's turn, they're still welcome to use that G, you can always use any letter you like, but they won't take it over if they use it. So, if I made, um, let's say, Pong, which probably isn't a valid move because I think that's a proper noun, but I will take over the N, because I used it, but I can't take over the G, because it's pro it was protected. And that's true, even if I use the E as well, um, I still can't take over the G this turn. So I have to wait until you know, it's not protected at the start of my turn. And you can't play letters, you can't play words that have already been played, and you can't play words that are at the start of a, game, of a word that's already been played. So if you played shame, then... Um, I could still play shameful, and so could you, but neither of us can play sham, because sham is at the start of shame, so you can't play shorter versions. Um, so you just keep on going like that until the board is taken over, but you'll probably end up in a situation where one of you owns quite a lot of, the, of territory, and then of course if you own like a big block like this, then lots of that is protected. Like that one's protected, 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 these ones are all vulnerable because they're on the edge. Um, so if red wanted to take a bunch of these letters, they can take the ones on the outside, but they're never going to wipe out all of your territory in one go because they're not allowed to take the ones that are protected. So that's it. Um, I hope you, you hope it makes sense, and I hope you like it. Um, and sorry again, I can't be there, but I hope you have a great time.